Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the Windows 10 update error 0x800724. There were some problems installing updates, but we'll try again later. If you keep seeing this and want to search the web or contact support for information, this may help, and then I'll provide the error code that I just previously stated. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it and start by opening up the start menu. Type in services. Test match should come back with services right above app. So go ahead and left click on that. Now you want to locate the background intelligence transfer service. Double click on that. You want to set startup type to automatic. If service status is stopped, you want to select the start option. And then select the log on tab. Make sure local system account is the one that's selected here and then select apply and OK. Do the same thing for the DCOM server process launcher. So scroll down a little bit right here. So DCOM server process launcher, double click on that. Again, make sure that's running and startup type is automatic, which it already is. Locate the remote procedure call. Right here, double click on that. Make sure that's automatic, and again, that's started and running, which it is. Now locate the Windows Defender Firewall service. Double click on that. Again, it's running and automatic. And lastly, locate the Windows Update service. Double click on that. Make sure it's running, and startup type is also set to automatic, and then select Apply and OK. Once you're done with that, close out of here. Restart your computer. Hopefully, it has been able to resolve the problem. Another thing you can try would be to open up the start menu again. Type in troubleshoot. Best match to come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and left click on that. Scroll down on the right side underneath get up and running and select Windows Update. Solve problems that prevent you from updating Windows. And then select run the troubleshooter.
Okay, so if it suggests you restart your computer or go along with any problems it found, I'd suggest listening to it. Otherwise, select close and then restart your computer. Try and run a Windows update again, and hopefully it's been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.